All right, now let's move on to the piece below that. Let's take care of the piece below. And then once we're done, we're gonna take care of the cut line we have in the piece we have over here. Let's get over to the side and I'm gonna take just two vertices here. So let's take these two, press Shift and D and press P and separate the selection. All right, so let's start off by taking the edge and moving it to the inside. And I'm gonna take this, extrude in the Y axis and let's move it in a Y to about there. Let's disable the subdivision surface modifier for now. Let me move this in the Y a little bit more. Move this in the X a little bit more. I'm going to slide this inside to about somewhere here. Let me slide it out a bit more. Now let's take this and let's extrude it in the X axis to about there. Move it in the Y to about there. And let's extrude it again in the X and move it in the Y to about there. Now we'll extrude it in the Y and move it in the X to about there. Let's slide it inside a bit more and move it in the X axis. Let me slide these vertices inside a bit more. Move it in the Y. Slide this one inside a bit more and move it in the Y. Let's get over into the front view or into camera view. And let's extrude this down in the Z to about here. I'm going to move it in the X a little bit, like so. Let's get to the side view. We're going to move this in the Y axis to about somewhere here. Let's get into the camera view and out of full screen and see how far we have to pull this back. Let me get to the side view here. And let's pull it back to about there looking at the reference image we have over here so i'm going to pull it back to about right there and that should be good let's get back into the camera view here i'm just going to move this let me move it in the x-axis a bit and let's extrude this in the x-axis until it merges in the center like that i'm just putting two extra loop cuts in here and let's round this off a bit so i'm going to move this in the y-axis like so move this in the y-axis like so and finally let's move this a touch all right now i'm going to take this Let's extrude it down in the Z to about there. Let's move it in the X axis a bit. Let's move this also in the X axis a bit. And then maybe this one also in the X axis a little bit. Let me move this in the Y a bit more as well. All right, now let's take this, get onto the side and out of camera view. Let's press G and then Y and move it until it matches up with this area down here. So I'm gonna move it in Y. Basically, it should be parallel with the edge we have on the right side of this. Let me get back to the camera view in front. Let me move this in the x-axis a bit to about here. Let me add in two extra loop cuts in here. Get to the side. I'm just going to press G and N Y and then G and N Z to round this off a bit. I'm going to put one in here. Press G and N Z, G and N Y to round that off a bit. Let's do the same thing over here. All right, now let's take this vertex and extrude it in the x-axis to the center like that. Let's get over to the top view, put two extra loop cuts in here, and let's align it just like the one we have behind it. Now let's take these four, let's press F, deselect that, and let's press F twice in here. Let me zoom into this area. And for now, let's fill a triangle in here. Let's fill quads in here. And let's see what we can do about this area. Let's fill the faces we have in here as well. And then fill one more in here. Let's get into camera view, see what we have. Okay, very nice. Now I'm going to take these two and press F. Let's put in a vertex in here. And press G and move that down. Let's make sure it is on the same level as this. Let me get to the top. I'm going to move it in a Y to about there. Let's get back into camera view. And let's slide this in to about there. Now let's take these four. And let's press F, take these two and press F once. Now let's take everything we have here and let's extrude it in the Y axis to the back a bit. So to about somewhere around here maybe. Let's take these two and press F once. All right, now we're gonna create the lip we have in the reference image here. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's get into the camera view in the front and let's try and guess where this is. Now before we do that, let me make sure this, we're gonna move it down a bit. Let me get into the camera view. We're going to move it down a bit to about here. And that should be good. All right. Now let's align the edge in here. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R in here and align an edge in here. And let's put one in here as well. So to about there. Let me take these and move it out in the Y a bit. Let's get back into the camera view. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these vertices here and dissolve them. Let me dissolve the one we have over here as well. Let me zoom in and see what we have. So I'm going to take these two and hit J. And this is what we should have. Now it should be good. I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here to add in an extra loop cut in there. And that should be good. Now let me press Ctrl and R3 here. Press E and F. And move it to about there. Let's fill in a face in here. And I'm going to do the same thing in here. But I'm going to have this one continue down to the side instead. So I'm going to merge this to this. We should be good. Let me slide this in a bit more. Let's take these two and press F twice. Now let me take the whole thing and let's extrude it in Y to about somewhere around here. Let me press Ctrl and R2 here to add in a loop cut in about somewhere here. Let's deselect all of these and dissolve the rest of the edges we have on that side. Let's get into the camera view and if you pay attention here you can see we have an extra lip here which pulls forward on that mesh instead of staying flat. So we're going to take that edge, I want to press G and Y and move it out a bit to about somewhere around here. And that should give us that lip that we're going for. So I'm going to bring it to about somewhere here. I think that should be good. Okay, very nice. And then let me just press Ctrl and R through here to about somewhere here. Now let me slide this down to about there. Let me get to the front view, see what we have. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and then merge it to this one at last. And that should be good. Let me take all of these here, including these. And let's extrude it in a Y axis to match up with the one we have behind it like that. Now I'm going to take these two vertices and press F once to fill in the face. Let's go ahead and enable our subdivision surface modifier. And let's start defining these edges a bit more. Alright, now let's go ahead and create the cutouts we have in here. So let me go into edit mode. Now I think we already have the edges here. Let's just take this one and let's take all of what we have below. And let's just slide it in the right side to the right side to about somewhere here. Alright, now let's add in loop cuts in here to better define this. Well, first of all, let's take this and then slide it up to here. Ease like this, slide that up a bit. Now let me just add another one in here, press E and then F, align it with the one above, and let's move it to about there. I'm going to put one in here, another one here, one here, and then one here. Alright, now let's take the faces and delete them one by one. Okay, now we've deleted the faces, let's take everything in edge select mode. Let's take everything, and first of all, let's press F. Now let's insert a face in here. Now let's extrude this in the Y axis to the back. So we're going to move it to about somewhere here. And let's delete the faces. Alright, now let's go ahead and adding supporting edge loops to define this better.
I think the face on the bottom is a little too big. So what we're going to do is let's take all of the vertices on the bottom side of this faces, on the bottom side of that hole. Now let's get onto the side view and let's move this up in the same line or angle as what we currently have. So I'm just going to move it up to about here and let's see what we have. All right, that's much better, I think. Okay, now let's put two on both sides of these holes to define them a bit more. And finally, we're gonna add some on the inside. And there we go, our holes are done. And one final thing we have to do is this extra piece we have in the middle here. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here. Now let's add in vertices around here. Let me deselect this. Now let me slide this back. Or let's deselect all of this and slide it back to about here. Let's take this vertex and this vertex and let's hit J. And let's dissolve these vertices we have in here or these edges. And I'm just going to take these two. Or let's take everything we have in here and delete the faces. Now I'm going to take it from here to here. Maybe from there to about here. Let's get onto the side. Let's extrude this up to about there. So I'm going to extrude it all the way through. And I'm going to use the knife tool and then knife this through like so. Let's delete everything we have up here. And let's take this. I'm just going to move it down in a Z and move it in a Y a bit like so. All right. Now let me press Ctrl and R through here. And let's add in supporting edge loops on the bottom. And I'm going to add one in here as well. So to about there. Like so. And let's dissolve the edges we have going down below. Let me just merge this to that one over there. All right. Now let me press Ctrl and R3 here. Add in one behind this. And that should be good. All right. Very nice. Let's see if we can fill a face in here. So I'm just going to press E and Y. Now let's scale this to match with that. Let me press F. Adding supporting edge loops in here. Add one more in there. And then there we go. All right, now one last thing we have to do is to create the edge line we have in here. So I'm going to take this, press G twice. Now let me slide this to the right and then add in a new one in here to about there. And then I'm going to take this and slide this back to here. Let me deselect that. And let's slide this back in here to about there. All right, so I'm going to take this vertex now and that one. And let's hit J to join an edge between them and dissolve this edge we have in here. Now let's see what we have up here. Let me slide this back and back down. Okay, very nice. I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here, adding an edge loop to about here. All right, now let me just press Ctrl and R3 here, press E and F, align with the one over here, and let's dissolve everything we have on the back. I'm going to do the same thing here, and then let's merge these two vertices together. All right, now let me just do the same thing over here as well. All right, now let's take this and let's press V and then separate the edge we have over in there. Now let me select everything here, deselect this. And let's move this in the X axis a little bit like that. I wanna take everything again, deselect everything we have below. Now let's move this in the Y a little bit like that. All right, now let's define this area a bit more. So I'm gonna press Ctrl and R through here and move it to about there. Do the same thing here and move that to about there. Let's add supporting loop cuts on the back here as well. I think that's about it. Now the final thing to do is to adding solidify to make this area look much better, but I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. All right, so I'm gonna leave this area here, this space here, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to do on your own. And then the one up here, we're gonna, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to also do on your own. So I'm gonna leave those part to you guys. This area is gonna be, way more difficult but you should uh, try and find a way to get it done in the next video i'm going to show you guys how i got it done and then hopefully that helps you in case you are not able to do it all right so this will end this part and i will see you guys in the next video